Phi, Sigma, and Diana. When a curious hate Uji's calamity, Kokshin was so sorry, Niximiga, was a way on Izima said a toki. Ka, do you imitation? It's a stupid anagram, is what? Corregita and Imi were nine Janaika. Do you do? Anagram, Dio. Mozi on Arabe Kite, Dekta Bunsho, Kotaida. どうしてアナグラムだと前に似たような落書きを見たことがあってな。Why does Fi have different colored eyebrows and like eyeshadow? What the hell? Is that even just weird art style now or did she. <laughs> I don't know. 別の施設で。ところでシグマは何を見てるんですか？箱だ。何の箱だよ。わからないから調べているのではないか。何か書いてあるみたいですけど。フォースクイットボックス。強制終了箱ね。キーボードもついてますね。何かを無理やり終わらせたかったら、このキーボードを使ってパスワードを入力しろ。そういうことなんじゃないか。何かと。まあ普通に考えればゼロが仕掛けてきたこのゲームのことだろうな。じゃあ試してみましょう。でそううまくいくわけないですよね。手がかりが必要だな。箱の底に何か書いてあるんじゃないか。ダメだ。ビクともしない。重いんですか？重いなどという表現ではこと足りぬ。とても地球上の物質でできているとは思えぬほどだ。シグマは老いぼれだからな。何を言っている？私の体は若いままだ。<笑>じゃあ私がやってみよう。It is old Sigma in that body right now。マジだな。ほらな、だから言ったではないか。これリーク角のマップですよね。そのようだな。うん。確かこの区画の範囲内であればどの部屋にも行けるんでしたよね。ああ、ゼロはそう言ってたな。Prep room, decontamination room, decontamination from what? We all have it. <laughs> Healing room, okay. Transporter room. Hmm. Whoa, Gundam room. Trash disposal room. Come on. Showers. これで一通りすべての部屋を回ったことになるが。出口どこにもありませんでしたね。そりゃそうだ。何しろここは隠シェルターなんだからな。出口が三つも四つもあったらシェルターの意味をなさない。やはりゼロの言った通りか。外へ出るには X ドアを開く以外に方法はない。At least we can all play basketball. 無駄だ。扉の向こうでミダラなパーティーをやってても聞こえないだろう。確か扉を開くにはここにパスワードを6つ入力する必要があるんですよね。ああ、X パスとかいうやつをな。誰か一人が死ぬごとにそれが一つずつ発表されていく。本当でしょうか。シグマ、試しに死んでみてくれ。<笑>悪いが遠慮しておこう。じゃあダイアナは？ちょちょっとやめてくださいよ。だよな
あの聞いてもいいですかなんだ The way Sigma talks <laughs> ゼロは一体何者なんでしょうもしかしてゼロが誰なのか知ってるんですかまさか見当もつかんよだが奴はゼロと名乗った少なくとも1年前の事件を知っているのは間違いないだろう1年前の事件それからもう一つ確かなことがある考えてみてくれさっきのゼロの話どうして録画だったのかワナバース奴にはリアルタイムで姿を現すことのできない事情があったんだよ Like I know you're trying to say that it's one of us, but maybe Zero is just someone who is very organized and wants his ducks to be all in a row, okay? It doesn't actually concretely confirm that it's one of us. What? Okay, so apparently, if you see a recording of somebody, it means they're dead already. By the time you're watching this video right now, I'm dead already. Why can't we ask about Fi and Sigma's relationship? And what's wrong with how he talks? There's no meowing going on, I don't think. スタッフが常駐しているカンリトとディーコムは今通信ができない状態にあるディーコムでのシミュレーションは実際の火星探査を想定して忠実に行われているからだ地球から火星までは最短でも半年その半年の間に地球は太陽の周りをちょうど半周することになるつまり宇宙船が火星に到着した時には地球は太陽の裏側に従って太陽が邪魔になり地球とは交信できないという設定でこれまでの5日間 D コムでの実験は行われてきた通信が回復するのは今日12月31日の23時30分 Not early enough. あと10時間以上あることになるだからそれまでは救助隊が来るのを期待しても無駄だその時が訪れるまで D、コムのスタッフたちは異変に気づかないだろうからななんだか兄弟みたいですね息がぴったりと合ってて I was thinking that too I didn't even put it together until this point but I was sitting here listening to them talk being like oh well you know the art is not the greatest but at least I can hear Fi's voice again and then I realized oh this is the first time we've heard Sigma speak isn't it not as K either こんなこと言うのは失礼かもしれないですけどシグマさんの話し方ってそのなんというか不自然ですよね許してやってくれこいつの精神年齢と肉体年齢はかけ離れてるんだそういえばリーコムで言ってましたねシグマさんの意識は2074年の未来からやってきたって<笑> Did he just randomly casually talk about this? So, no, Tori. You any of us are Mirai ni nani go koro no kao shi teiru. Kore made no it's kaka. Sansan keikok stekta hazda. Kono mama deva jinri wa metsubo surdo. Yeah, and then everyone thought he's psycho. Okay. Uh, does he talk really like a grandpa or what? I guess it might be a translation thing. I didn't notice anything particularly weird. それを阻止するために私はアカネやファイと共にディーコムに潜入したのだとファイさん本当なんですか本当だと言ったら信じてくれるのかだったらどうしてこんなところに閉じ込められたりしたんですか未来のことを知ってるならいくらでも対処のしようがディーコムでどのような事態が発生するのかは分からなかったのだよもちろんこのシェルターでこれから何が起こるのかもな
AKA you're useless. Okay. それにしてもどうしてこんなことになっちゃったんでしょう。レベッカの言うことなんて聞かなければよかった。レベッカ。レベッカ。私が勤めてる病院の看護師長のことです。そういえばダイアナは看護師だったな。私がディコムの実験に
大丈夫でしょうかガブの手紙が嘘でなければ今はただ信じるしかないだろうそうですよね<音声>さてこれにて90分の活動時間を終えたことになる次のゲームに備えてぐっすりと眠るといいもっとも票を2票集めたチームが次のゲームに参加することはないが最後に一つ君たちは私の指示通りに投票を行ってくれたそのことに対して褒美をやろう今回は例外的に記憶消去薬を打たないでおくしたがって次に目覚めた時生き残った者たちは自らの決断を食いることになるだろう君たちの一票がいずれか1チームの全員を殺したことになるのだからでは良い夢を They're all very worried, but I don't think we have to worry if this can get us somewhere. They let me choose, okay? So they should let me keep going. It's probably gonna be some crap about how, well, you know, you thought this was a good choice, but actually it's not because you wanted to kill off somebody first. Holy crap, what the hell is happening here? Oh my god. Is that the same for the other ones? Jesus! How do I even start? Oh my god. <laughs> that's... That's a lot. Okay. How do we... Okay. Um... Well, just like we saw right now, these little fragments, there is one... These three went on simultaneously. Can we do something like that? Like, just keep finding the simultaneous ones and then do it... Yeah, look at it like that? Or... How do you even figure that out, though? What the hell? There's, like, kind of holding a freaking chainsaw here. Um... I guess we're just looking through all the rooms here. I don't really know. Like, there's so... Fragments. Should I pick a short one? Should I pick one that has the same length as... Some other one? Jesus Christ. I don't know. We don't know anything. So... I'm gonna check out the length. Like, do we see similar shaped story fragments in the other ones? Not all the time. Oh my lord. You know, they're like completely differently shaped. What the frick? Um, should I just try to finish all the ones in one team first? Or like keep going, rotating? <sighs> There's a lot of different ways we can do it. Yeah. I'm leaning towards doing one piece here, and then one piece here, and then one piece here. Because otherwise, we'd be looking at Carlos, Akane, and Jinbei for like the next 20 hours. Um, I'm tempted to pick this one because it looks so scary. But let's pick something a little less scary looking. Yeah. Um, we did this one? We did this one? Let's just keep going down the line. Sure. Anthropic Principle. Koko. ごらくしつですね。年が明けてる。投票行ったのは13時30分だから10時間半以上も俺たちは。おう。いや、そうとは限らないだろう。そういえばゼロが言ってましたね。おう。90分間の活動を終えると、バングル内の注射器が作動し
たとえどんなひどい経験をしても記憶には残らない考えるだけで寒気がするな、well, you're still alive. ダメだロックがかかってる Wait, so that means that this piece is not directly after the one, the vote that we just did, because Zero said that as a reward, we would get to keep our memories. So this is not directly after. ていうか、純平くんお酒なんて。俺たちはもう二十二だ。トランプでババ抜きやってた頃とは何もかも違うんだよ。本当に。確かに。見た目や趣味。表面的なものは。時間や環境によって変わります。でも、純平くんの中に。変わらずに残ってるものもあるんじゃないんですか。プールに行ったり。お祭りに行ったり。雪の積もった校庭で雪合戦したり純平くんはあのウサギ小屋の一件の時も私を守ってくれましたよね From 999だからなんだよあの頃の純平くんもきっとどこかに This is basically Akana's way of saying 純平 stop being a little asshole and cooperate with everyone plays <笑>最初に変わっちまったのはどっちかって話だいや実は変わったもんなんて何もなくて俺が見えてなかっただけかもしれないけどな純平一つだけ言っておきたいことがある Hang on 純平 is angry at Akane but for what? Cause after the events in 999 he did seem pretty content that everything worked out okay So is he just angry about how Akane is not telling him what's happening here? Because this seems like he's much more angry, like he's angry about more things than just that. Honton 両親を救えなかったことがあるお前がその時も消防士だったんですか試験に合格したばかりの18歳妹の誕生日プレゼントを買って戻ったら家が燃えててその時にはまだ消防車は一台も到着してなくてなだから俺はどこにいる妹だけは救出できたが、親父とおふくろは助けられなかった。俺が消防士になれたのは、応援してくれた二人のおかげなんだ。なのに、感謝の言葉も告げることができずに。ああ、悪い。なんだか、しんみりしちまったな。とにかく、俺が言いたいのは、二人には俺のような後悔をしてほしくないってことだ伝えたいことがあるなら生きてるうちに伝えておけ生きてるうちにって縁起でもないこと言わないでくださいよ<笑>確かにそうだなじゃあまずはここから出る方法を探すかそれが生き延びるための最初の一歩だカーロス is a little older than us, huh? Okay, uh, I guess this is our first. Okay, I was just wondering about the little controller thing. This is our first puzzle then. Mm hmm. Controls are just like Virtue's last reward. And this room kind of looks like the casino room in 999, or maybe the recreation room in Virtue's last reward. Anyway, going from 999 to VLR, there was a pretty noticeable. Difficulty spike in the puzzle difficulty, so I wonder if it's gonna be the same here. What? This jam? It's jam 100% pure? Carlos, why are you staring at it? Do you recognize it? Yeah, my sister really likes this. 
I bought it for her a lot. Take some in the morning and you'll be strong and beautiful inside and out. Jam 100% pure. I'd hear her quote that ad all the time. It's great you have such a fond memory, but you should never make your voice that high. Oops. It sounds like a TV commercial aimed at young girls. Oh, Jam 100% pure. Never thought I'd see it again. Could they not really afford some transitions for this? Dang. This is... A chess rule book. Are we supposed to check this? Okay. Um... I have a confession to make. I don't know how to play chess. This is gonna be bad. Oh no. Like, I get that some, some pieces can only make certain moves, but beyond that, I don't really know how chess works. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This looks like a chessboard thing. Huh? The chessboard doesn't want to open, but I don't see anything keeping it shut. Hey, is there something off about the word chess there, or is it just me? Uh, the E. Oh, the E in the chess is mirrored. Aha, uh -huh, that's it. That's why it felt so off to me. But why is only the E mirrored? Is it just a typo? No, wouldn't that be the key to opening it? Do you not want to do something to it? Hey, you know, couldn't chess sort of look like numbers? You're right. Each S would be a 5, the mirrored E is 6, and H is 4. But that leaves the C out since it doesn't look like a number. Do you want to do something with it or... Okay, well, uh, it could be 5564 if we come across any type of password lock. And we're not interested at all on the actual pieces. Okay, all right. There is a closed portable chest set on the table and a bottle of jam. It'll look tasty on a piece of toast. Better not eat it again, it could be poisoned. I thought you were going to say it was going to make her fat. <laughs> okay. A leather chair. You can rest here for a while if you're tired, Carlos. No, this isn't the time or place. Let's check something else out. How about the other one? Oh wow, this leather chair is so comfy. Well, the comfort level of a sofa or chair is very important. And that's why the, the good ones go for like a thousand bucks or plus. This is a bottle of oil? It says oil 130ml on it. Maybe it's for the fireplace? I wonder why the label says that though. Maybe 130ml of oil is the max you can put in the fireplace before it explodes? Or you need to use 130ml of oil to get your fried chicken to taste delicious. That's a lot. Fried chicken? What is this? Zero's cooking hour? Hmm, oil 130ml. Why is the unit of measurement in parentheses? The jam! The percentage was also in parentheses with 100 on it, so that must be related. There are two candles up here. Looks like they're glued in place. Maybe that's so they don't fall off. Um, okay. There are two candles, but we can't move them. It's a fireplace. There's no fire in it right now. Wow, it's big enough to fit someone inside. How funny would it be if Zero decided to play hide and seek here? Not very. <laughs> uh, is there a button that quickly lets me go back? Oh my god. Okay, it's escape. Hmm, yeah, the PC controls are... They leave a bit more to be desired. A suit of armor. I always like these things. Why not try it on, Carlos? This is not exactly the best place to be doing that. Besides, it looks hard to put on. Yeah. Hold on. This thing's holding something in its right hand. It's a fire hook? Fire hook. It's used for putting and arranging things in the fireplace, so that you don't burn yourself. You could use it as a weapon, but I don't think it'll be able to break down the door. The door that's probably locked that we haven't found yet. Alright. Mm. This board has some newspaper clippings and photos. But they're all so old that we can't read a word. No clues then. Let's move on to the next place. 
Huh? A suit of armor? Having one of these standing in your home would be pretty cool and scary. Yeah, it'd be a great statement, even if it didn't match the interior design. It's definitely dominant in a small room. Oh, what is this casino stuff? This is a roulette wheel, just like the ones you find in casinos. There's some kind of input here. Let's test it out. Uh, would you like S S E H? No. There's no numbers here. A A A. We don't know it. Huh. Well, we sucked with that. What was it we were supposed to put in? Alphabet. Alphabet. Was there a clue somewhere? Um, uh, we could try to. We could try. How about H E S S? No, it's not related to the chess thing. I don't think. Inputting at random is not gonna work. Let's see if we can find a clue somewhere. Maybe those circles on the roulette are some kind of hint. Ooh, okay. Maybe we haven't found it yet. All right. The chart on this table, four spots are circled. Five, twenty-one, twenty-six, twenty-eight. I have no idea what they mean. Five, twenty-one, twenty-six, twenty-eight. Do we have a memo here like before? Do we want to write that down? They only give you three colors again. God damn it. Gee, oh my. Hmm. Not very happy about this at all. As um. Overall keyboard and mouse experience it just seems kind of not the most robust. Maybe even worse than Virtue's Last Reward. What is this line? Is it? Are you kidding me? They're limiting the amount of ink I have? Seriously? Or not? Uh. Every time I do something here, this bar goes down. I'm not sure what it means. Keep track of important information. They don't mention anything about what that line means. Okay, sure, whatever. Hmm. I guess there's nothing here then. God damn these controls. Ugh. Um, another one. Sadman, 570. Wait, this is... Sadman 570. Is something special about this wine, Carlos? There is a legend about this bottle. You're not supposed to ever drink it. It's so bad. Wine experts everywhere lose their will to live after tasting it. It's like Pandora's box, but with wine. It's alright if you open it, but please don't drink it. Okay. Can we open it? Sad man 570. Kinda wanna try it. Why? Cause you're a sad man? <laughs> Cause you're so edgy? My god. These are records? Oh, really? I've never seen real ones before. Me neither. I hear old bars sometimes still use them though. The player itself doesn't take up much space. My parents used to have one. When I listened to records on it, it made me feel like I was really at a concert. Hmm. It's a shelf with a bunch of records, nothing strange here. This is a small wooden box. Maybe we can use it for something, let's take it with us. Do you wanna like pry it open with that thing? This box, I don't see a lid to open it anywhere. I can hear something when I shake it. Hey Junpei, try to karate chop it open. If I could do that, I'd make a career as a pro fighter. Isn't Carlo supposed to be the stronger one here? You can try examining them, or uh, combining them. Drag the item to combine with to the center. Nope, doesn't work. How about the other way around? Nope, okay, fine. Sunset 24, yet another number. Ah! 
It's Sunset 24! And why are you shouting, Junpei? You don't know, Carlos? They're super rare. You can't find them anywhere anymore. You smoke, Junpei? I memorized the slogan when I was a kid. The setting sun at 24, a perfect match. Men, always wanting to be cool. It's just a cigarette. Why do you have to be 24 to smoke it? Whatever, you said it's rare? Um, okay. Oh, I should be writing these down, shouldn't I? Okay. So we have these numbers right now, and then we also have what? Uh, it's a little long to write all together. Sunset 24. Sad man 570. What were the other ones? Mmm, jam. Jam. 100. And then we also had the one above the fireplace. Something 130. I'll have to go back and check. Matches? They don't feel wet, so we can still use them. Okay. You can start a fire if you strike one against a rough surface. It's easy for me now, but I was afraid of lighting fires when I was young. Now that you mention it, I remember watching you being scared to light a firework. Oh, you still remember? Yeah, I seem to recall you cowering and hiding like a baby behind me. Oh, don't tease me like that. <laughs> Something is off about this dialogue. Regular matches. We can... light the fireplace. Sunset 24, apparently a rare brand of cigarette. Making things seem rare is how people want you to w get you to want things. Brandy, whiskey, sake, man, this bar has everything. Are you a regular drinker, Carlos? I've never bought for myself, but I don't refuse when co-workers invite me out. I always end up leaving early to visit my sister, though. You really are dedicated to her. Yeah, speaking of people being dedicated to their sisters, where the hell has Santa been the whole time? Nope, okay. That might be that. Yum. Another suit of armor? This armor is pretty well made, but why is it here? What if the armor starts moving to attack if someone cheats? Don't be silly, Jinpei. We're not in some game or movie. Oh, yeah, really. Hmm. It's the United States flag. It's kind of cool that each star represents a state. I like the Japanese flag too. It's simple and clean. Oh, hold up. Is that... is that the Funarimpa? I didn't know it could be a copper plate. Funarimpa? What are you going on about, Jinpei? It's just a memorial plate. <laughs> Wait, you gotta zoom in on it, if it is. Jinpei was super excited for a minute, but it's just a copper memorial plate. <laughs> now you're starting to see it in places where it doesn't even exist. This says New Caledonia. It's a popular vacation spot. Blue skies, endless ocean. I'd like to see it someday. It'll be pretty sad to go alone, though. Well, going on vacation alone, if you want to, who's stopping you? I think this thing is probably a clock. Yeah, a digital one. But nothing's on the display. Maybe the batteries are missing? We could toss it around like a frisbee. What? You gotta admit it looks like one. A picture of a big moon. It's beautiful. Yeah, looking at this kind of calms me down. I wish they would let me zoom into some of these. It's a picture of a landscape at night. No switches hidden behind it? Let's search somewhere else, you two. The big moon. I can hardly see the moon on this thing. Oh, what is this? This looks delicate. Why so serious, Junpei? It's just... that tower of cards. My fingers are itching to knock it down. Same here. But it'd be a shame to destroy all that hard work. Oh. There are some square holes here. Something can fit inside. Oh, you think? <laughs> oh, little blocks? 
How about the wooden box that we got? And conveniently enough. <laughs> the button to switch items is not the one you use in Virtue's Last Reward and 999. Thank you, thank you. There are square holes inside the table. Maybe we can fit something inside them. But apparently not the little wooden box. Okay. That tower is really distracting. Do you want to touch it? This tower... Let's knock it down. What? For no reason? Okay. Hey! Huh? Some of the cards are sticking to the table. Whoa! They purposely taunted us to topple the cards so we'd see these. There is a minus, a plus, and an equal sign. Must be a math equation. Oh. Okay. One plus one, two, three, four, eight. One plus eight plus three. Minus ten. Well, what about the jack and the queen? Is that eleven and twelve? Mm, I guess I'll try it out. Why are all the kings ripped up like that? Oh, you're doing it for me. Okay. These cards are set up to look like a math equation. You're right. And all the kings are ripped in half over to the side. Are you doing it for me? Hey, couldn't we just calculate this using the numbers on the cards? But the queens and jacks have no number. And what about the ripped kings? There must be a clue to solve this round here, around here somewhere. Hmm. Well, it sounds like maybe we don't use 11 and 12 then? I don't know. I guess I could try it. Yeah. 1 plus 8 plus 3 minus 10 minus 11 minus 12 minus 9. That's a lot of negatives. Plus 9 plus 4 plus 12 plus 11 plus 5 plus 8. That's 64. I mean, we could remember it for now. But no clue about the Ripped Kings. 64. And that's it. That's it for now. Something here? No? Collect five coins. Oh, is that how we get out of here? Hey, this button says open. Think it's for the door? But it's under this glass. We couldn't press it even if we wanted to. It says collect five coins down here at the bottom. Does that mean that if we get five coins, we'll be able to push the button? And it looks like the coins go in these holes. Let's start looking. And solving each puzzle will give us a coin, which means there's five puzzles here. Joy. Beer. Some neon lights. Reminds me of wandering down streets at night. You go out late a lot? Only when I'm in the mood to drink alone. Walking the streets distracted me from everything I had to deal with at work. Work! For me, it's the opposite. Walking alone at night makes me nervous. I'm pretty sure that's the case for pretty much all women. Yeah, but is that to show that Jinpei and Akane are becoming different people? Below the floor storage, I see a narrow slit on the top. Del will be able to open it with our bare hands. How about the fire hook? Maybe we can use this fire hook to open the cover. Awesome, we gotta open. Hey, five, five, six, four. That's the same as the the chest thing, isn't it? Hmm. It's a wooden hammer. We can probably use this somewhere. We should take it with us. Finally, progress. We, it seems like we might have been missing the first one so far. Maybe we'll find it later. Five, five, six, four. Wait, six, four? That's the number from the, the Tower of Cards. X. Hmm, X. Didn't that hammer we picked up have a red X on it? You're right. Maybe it's related? It means go to the chest box and use the hammer on it. Ooh. Huh? Something stuck in the helmet. A chart with letters of the alphabet on it? Oh, okay. Whoa, what the hell is this? 
How do I use this? Okay. There's red. And there's black. Each row has... To 12. And there's three rows. The letters seem to repeat. I see multiple Qs. But they're not on every line. There's no Q on the last line. Um... There's two of each, maybe. One red Q, one black Q. One black T, one red T. Red W, black W. Okay, so for each of the letters that appear on this chart, they appear twice, either in red or black. Beyond that, not quite sure what to make of it yet, so we will stash this away. Okay. What's wrong, Junpei? Why are you staring at it so hard? Oh, I just thought maybe it was one of those door motion sensor activated things. It's not, is it? None of them have been holding any sort of weapons aside from the... the first one. Oh, damn it. The door shut tight. It's locked. We'll just have to find a way to open it. Okay. Juke! 803. Hang on. This thing was oil. Yeah, okay. Gonna write that one down. Oil. Juke. 803. One very mysterious thing they've decided to get rid of here is a black overlay over the screen, because right now I'm just writing this all on top of the current screen and it's hard to see. <sighs> okay, whatever. Huh? I think this is a slot for a card. Let's use the superhero trading card Jinpei treasured back in grade school. <sighs> like I would still have that. That was forever ago. But hmm, a card. Did we find anything that could fit there? Um, didn't we? The card that we found off the... Oh, that was a sheet. That wasn't a card. I guess not. Oh, by the way, if we have a hammer now, can we open the box too? No? Burn it? Okay. The dice-shaped buttons are really stuck on. I doubt we can take them off. It'll be a lot of fun to play with them, though. Come. They don't mention Juke803 at all. It says Juke803. What? Juke803? The death model? Huh? You know about this jukebox, Akane? Yes, it's the cursed jukebox that travels from bar to bar. At 803 exactly, it plays a song so depressing that whoever's listening commits suicide. Whoa! That's how the machine got its nickname. Juki the Grim Reaper of 803. I can't decide if that's terrifying or cute. And how exactly did this rumor spread of everyone who listened to it died? Yeah, <laughs> everyone seems to know a little bit about something here. Junpei knows about the cigarettes, Akane about the jukebox, and Carlos about the jam. Alright, alright. Extreme slots. It says extreme slots here on the bottom. Extreme, huh? Well, it better live up to expectations. Pulling the lever does nothing. The reels won't spin. I don't think power is running through it. How do we turn it on? Hmm. Oops. The machine's not powered on. The lever isn't doing anything. Okay, the clock? The 803! It might have to do with the clock over here that supposedly doesn't have batteries. But the light, the power is on here though. For some of the stuff. Make a heart. I think something needs to go on the upper section of the slot machine. You're right. It's completely blank. But what? I don't know. What's this? It says odds are 30... 35%. Odds is how you explain win rates and gambling. But that's usually percentage, not odds. Maybe that's why it's in parentheses? You seem to know a lot about this, Junpei. Do you play slots a lot? 
No, just a little horse racing to let off steam and unwind, you know. There happened to be an odds 35 race, so well, I bet a hundred bucks on it. Did you lose? <laughs> I take it you didn't win, huh? Don't be so hard on yourself. It happens. Hmm. Like so far, I can hardly, I can really hardly recognize these characters. Junpei is just completely different, and I don't know. The writing feels a lot more somber and just not that that light-hearted writing that we had in the first two. It was a serious situation before, but we still had jokes from time to time, but this is just like... Eh. Hmm, it says make a heart here. Huh? How exactly do you make a heart? With your mouse? <laughs> a blank space for something. Okay... I don't know... Well, okay. Oh, did we look at the slot portion or... Yeah, we did. There's nothing in the tray here. We should get coins flowing out if we get a match on the machine. Okay. Back to the box here. So we want to use the hammer on the seat. Maybe if we hit the sea with this hammer. A cylindrical piece came out. Oh, so this was how the chessboard was locked. That was pretty tricky. Oh. This is the cylinder from the chess set. There are three windows showing chess pieces. Let's see if we can do something with it. How do I know what to do? I don't. Uh-oh. That's not good. Failed. Hmm, if only we could get these marks right, we might get something. Now that I think about it, wasn't there something written on the chessboard? Yup, I was thinking about that. One, two, three. Okay, good, I don't have to know chess to play this. Something's drawn on the board. Looking at how these arrows are going, is this how each piece moves? Yup, can you let me see it? Like, not for... I have to tilt my head to see it right now. We have to match it to the piece. Um, file? Rules of chess. <laughs> so the blue lines means where you can move, right? Uh, I don't know about these ones. Like, why is there black? Oh, because the piece is black and the... Okay, so the little blue square is where we can move. Alright, so one is rook then. One is rook. And then second is, I think, bishop? Diagonally? I think I know that one. Yeah. And the last one is... Somebody that can go everywhere. The queen. Rook, bishop, queen. Okay, rook is the one with the castle. Bishop is the circular one. Queen is... You know, a little, a little circle. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, if I want to go to my items. Yep. Rook. Is that bishop? Queen. Nope. I must have done it wrong. Oh, it's Rook, Bishop, King, because the Queen extends out to all these other ones too, but the King is just the immediate surroundings. Okay, I think I got you now. Yeah, let's give that one another try. Rook. Yep. Bishop. King. Oh. Yes, it opened and something came out. A coin and a note with some numbers on it. Well done, Carlos. A note. 05282126. These are the numbers we saw on that one table there. Some of them are red. Some of them are black. Okay. Oh my god. There is a lot of, um, yeah. Now I'm thinking now, should I be writing down the measurements as well? So this is so difficult to read because there's no overlay on this. What the heck? 
percent. I don't know what the other ones were though. ML? Jukebox? Odds? Does Was Odds one of them? Odds... 35... Percent. Wasn't there another percent? What were these ones? Sad Man 570. Okay, whatever. We'll go back to them. Okay, so we finished one thing here. Is there anything that we haven't looked at yet? <laughs> We're not even taking the bottles or anything, though. Huh. The fire here. Do we want to start it? How about we start a fire with these matches? Oh, now we have a fire. Just seeing a fire in a fireplace during winter makes you feel warm. A fire is burning in the fireplace. Maybe we should put something in it? Oh, I know. Let's go get some sweet potatoes. It's the perfect season for them. Maybe not, Akane. We'll forget the serious situation we're in if we do that. Yeah, like they read a joke in here, but then like... One of the other characters is all... Is being such a Debbie Downer about it. Like, what is happening with the writing here? Feels a little bit too serious. The wooden box! Are you gonna burn it in the fire? I was just wondering what would happen. But the contents inside would burn too. Could I see it for a sec? And in you go! Jube! No! Why did you do that? You just gotta have faith with these things, or you'll end up never moving forward. What did you get out of it? What did you get? The wooden box is burning. I wonder if something's in there, but I can't take it up with my bare hands. We can use the fire hook. Hmm, we can use the fire hook to pull the box out. But the fire is really strong. Maybe we should put it out first, just in case. We don't have water! We have oil. <laughs> you wanna put some oil on that fire? We have jam. Like, all of these boxes, these containers, we can't pick them up or anything. We need water. Is there water behind the counter? Oh! It's a glass bottle of water. Dramas on TVs always have one of these things as a murder weapon. Well, it's not gonna be a murder weapon here now, is it? Whiskey and brandy line in the shelves, but nothing catches my eye. Huh. So for sad man, there was no percentage. No. Okay. We're back out here. And we will put the water in the fire. No! Let's use this bottle of water to put out the fire. And it's out. What happened to the box? I can see the ashes of the box inside the fireplace. But it's still really hot. We can't get at it with our bare hands. <sighs> so many little steps. If we use this fire hook, we can poke around inside the fireplace. Hey, is that a coin underneath the ashes of the box? Guess tossing that box in was the right thing to do after all. Let's grab it. Okay, cool. We have two boxes now. Or coins. Why would Zero go through all that trouble just to have us burn the box up in the end? Cause he doesn't care. This coin was in the cylinder. Mm hmm. Okay. So we will have to figure out how to how to get the other three coins somewhere. Beginning with this one maybe. Hmm. Well, for starters, this thing here. I feel like it's related to the four numbers. But how do we convert these numbers to... Oh, hang on. I'm gonna take a picture of this one. And then, can we use this chart to convert the numbers into letters? I guess we'll have to see. 0, 5 in red. So does that mean look for the fifth red letter? 1, 2, 3, 4... Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I? 28 black? I don't know, this doesn't seem very likely. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, there's not even 28 letters on this one. Alright. Mm. It's gotta... It's gotta be some way to combine these two though, isn't it? I don't know. Where did we see the numbers? Because we saw these numbers before already. I wrote them down, but where did I see that? Oh. Here. I wonder what those circles on the chart mean. Hey, hold on. Didn't we just see something similar? Yeah, we did, we did. But this is so blurry, I don't even know how to... <laughs> yeah, 5, 21, 26, 28. Red and black, respectively. Yeah. But how do I make use of this? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. The layout of this letter chart. Hang on. Let me take a picture of it. It's the same as the layout on the table, isn't it? Hang on, hang on. If we look at it like this. Like, go out once more? Yeah! Q-P-O-T-S-R 12 numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, okay, so that letter chart corresponds to this. This one? S. 21? I. 26? N 28 P S I N P What order was it in again? We have to look at that thing S P I N Spin Oh, okay Oh my god Oh, I feel like this one This one had a lot of different pieces to it but I think it should be it. Spin. That makes sense too. Oh! 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 The wheel detached. All we had to do was input the corresponding letter from the chart. Well, that was more straightforward than I expected for this place. I mean, that wasn't the most straightforward. There were a lot of different little pieces of paper and whatever, but whatever, we got it now. Well, this wheel detached from the table. Where can we use it? Uh... You could wear it on your head? As if Zero would go through the effort of making a hat. I might die from how stupid it is. Yes, you're so smart, Junpei. Oh, you're too good for us. There is something under the wheel. It's a coin. Three coins. Not bad, not bad. Coins are so tantalizing. Wherever you have a lot of them, you just feel happy. Well, they are shiny and remind you of money. Coin... a coin is money, right? Oh. It's just that this coin isn't money. Okay, does that mean that we don't have to use this table anymore? This is the spot on the wheel where the wheel used to be. Now there's nothing here. We can put the wheel somewhere. Um... Is there a place for me to put it here? Maybe we can find some place to- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! On the thing right here! Yeah! Hey, the power turned on when I put the roulette wheel here. Um, how do I make a heart with it, though? <laughs> it's designed to turn on when the roulette wheel is placed here. Hmm, make a heart. There's a heart shape down here near the bottom. Maybe put something there? Where? Oh, here? There's a heart on this frame here. For being only 9x9 nine nine squares, it's rather pretty. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Hot Springs hotels have these kinds of puzzle games a lot. Cause they can get more of your money, huh? The reels should turn now if you pull the lever. Oh! <laughs> what? 
Three sevens on the first spin? Jackpot? Oh, something small came out of the machine. So, this is what came out. Looks like puzzle pieces. Too bad it's not coins. What can we use these for? Tetris? Red and white. There are a total of 10 pieces, and they're all different sizes. We can probably make a shape with them, but it's gonna be hard with them all different. Oh, we're making a heart. Yeah, I think so. Where do we make a heart with this? Yeah, maybe we can make a heart shape with these pieces here. But ours is 10 by 10. And this one's 9 by 9. <laughs> Wait. Hey, this one's 9 by 9 too. Oh, it's 9 by 9, but there's 10 pieces. Okay. Whoa, this is... Pretty... You can't really move them too. Oh my god, this is gonna be a pain in the butt. I just know it. Well, this one... Can we rotate them or what? There's a little dot... Um... Have a heart, won't you? All the pieces must be incorporated into the puzzle. You're allowed to rotate them. Do you wanna... Yeah, do you wanna teach me how to rotate them? Oh my god. Q and E. Okay. Oh, I can take it out here. That's good. Oh, this whole thing is so stupid. It's not Q and E to rotate them. It's Q and E to switch to the rotate mode, and then you click the mouse to rotate them. Oh my god. Okay, how do I get to the not rotate mode, then? No. Oh, whatever. Oh shit, I finally got it, I think. Hang on. Like that? Uh... Oh! Yeah, we made a heart shape! <gasps> Painstakingly! Something came out at the bottom. A coin and a card calendar? We got a coin in the card calendar by completing a heart. Yes, we know this. The coin's pretty obvious, but what do we do with a calendar? The puzzle pieces ended up being useful, so let's just take it with us. Oh no... Okay, one, two, three, four. Four coins? What about... The puzzles? Card calendar. Huh. This card calendar... It has a different card behind each month. January Ace, November Jack and December Queen. It works, but it's still strange. Yeah, I think we already worked this part out. I wonder why the first letter is emphasized. And there is this weird barcode on the back. Barcode. We really need to get a zoomed in look at this. Like, it's so small. Okay, so the first letter is red. JFMA, MJJA, Mm. Oh, okay, there we go. Now we get a closer look. Um. Hmm. Hey, this calendar works for this year, 2017. Doesn't it? Okay. What about the puzzle pieces? I think we did a pretty good job. I saw you were struggling a little there, Carlos. Oh, and you're an expert at these kinds of puzzles? Nope, I suck at them. Too much stress on my brain. I hate those puzzle rings especially. Haha. <laughs> well, I think we are done here. The last thing that we need is to solve the... House of Cards thing here. Oh, but what about the jukebox? Huh. They talk about taking the dice off. So I'm wondering if we take the dice and put them here. But then in that case, how do I take it off? Hmm. Hey, that card calendar we got from the slot machine. Think it'll work here?
and went in. And the jukebox started playing music. Oh, look, those buttons that look like dice fell out. Where? I didn't think turning the machine on would cause the dice to fall out. Who comes up with these gimmicks? Zero. The three dice on the floor range from one to six. I wish we could relax and play board games with these, but let's just take them with us. Yum. Now that we have that... Is that the only use for the jukebox? Maybe? Well, we can't get it back. And we will put the dice here. You know, I think the dice will fit here. Let's find out. One, one, one. The dice fit perfectly, but nothing's happening. It shows three digits, so maybe it's like the locker and we need certain numbers? We should try some combinations then, Carlos. Um... Do I know the combination? Certainly don't feel like it. Is Lady Luck on your side? We shall see. These three dice must show the correct numbers for you to continue. So it's luck related, huh? <laughs> God damn it. Where have we seen... Hmm, of course random numbers don't work. Um, we have a lot of numbers. 803? How about that one? Because that one was the... We can't do 8. <laughs> Never mind. Um... Hey, change music. Should I just try 570, 100, 130? I can't try 570 either. And z Wait, I can't try any of these because they have zeros. Okay. In that case... What about... Mm, I don't know. Maybe we need to use the... The tower to help get this number here. Hmm. Well, we got a bunch of puzzles on the card calendar, but we just put it into that slot machine. But we can still see it here. Instead of trying to make the letters into numbers, could it be to make the numbers into letters? Could it be the first letter of the month? A? A is January. Let's try that out. January. 8, August. March. Jam. Oh! Okay, it looks like it's coming together. I don't know what the ripped kings mean though. Maybe it just means that kings are not part of this equation. 10. October. Is that a queen? Actually, I can't tell. <laughs> yeah, these are both queens, huh? Yeah, because Jack is the one with the mustache. Queen is... December, right? D? September. Oz. Okay, yeah, we're definitely getting somewhere here. For April? Q is... D? May? August? Jack is November. Jam plus Jam minus Odds plus Sandman. 100 minus 35 plus 570 is 635. That does seem to work because all of these numbers, they are on the dice. Let's try it out. Six. Thirty. Five. Oh. Whoa, a coin came out. Yes, that means the right combination gives an item. We were pretty lucky. I didn't think setting them to random numbers would work. Oh, and now that's our fifth coin. And that we didn't set it to random numbers, okay? <laughs> we figured this out. What are you talking about, Akane? Can we finally get out of here now then? Ah, the coin fits perfectly. 
But just one doesn't do anything. The case is still locked. Yeah. I need the key. Or should I suck it up and just plug in my controller? Maybe that's what I should do. I don't know. Well, for now, for this time, I'll do this. The glass hasn't moved yet. Now we have three, just two to go. That makes four, only one more. And now we finally have all five in. Oh, yes, we did it. The glass covering the button is open. So putting those coins here did open the case. Now we get out. Thank God, we can finally push this button. Mm, I feel like when we got that wooden hammer, we should have tried opening this glass case here. <laughs> but does it really open the door? It better, because we've been here for like over an hour already. You know, you're right. It could be a trap. It always happens in movies. The bad guys rush to push the button. Uh, Carlos, it's uh, the, the leader's job to do this kind of thing. What? You're the one who wanted to push it so badly. I guess it's probably not going to explode or anything. Okay, I'm the eldest here, so I'll do the pushing. I am a rookie, all right. Oh. Whoa! Confetti? Decision game no ルール今回の実時ゲームでは探索中に発見した3つのダイスを使用します。こいつのことか。それらを各自1つずつ手に持ち、一斉にダイステーブルの上で振ってください。3つのダイスすべての目が1ならばプレイヤーの勝ちです
Hide! Move! Don't just stand there! <laughs> it hasn't shot yet. Damn, this is so attractive. Blood coming out. Was that really my choice though? Like, I don't understand why they let me choose because there was no choice. Oh! D team, Diana, Sigma. <gasps> Fi! Fi is the only one alive! <gasps> is that a wedding ring? Okay, I'm... <laughs> okay... I might... Am I supposed to understand what's happening here? Because... Was there a way for me to avoid that fate or what? That was this one. How do I... Oh, what the hell? There's more. Um... If I go back now, is it possible for me to... Get a different ending? I'm so confused on what the best way to do this is. <laughs> um... Did doing that one open up any more new fragments? To be honest, there's so many, I don't know. But that didn't seem good. Everybody died except for Phi. How did Phi get to live? Oh. I need to pre-record, so I still don't know what your comments are right now, but I think, yeah, apparently I just... I can just move on. I'll just move on and see what happens next time. Okay... Um... Let's go with Q-Team, then. This one doesn't look like anything bad will happen, but then again, that's why I picked the other one, too. <laughs> oh, before that. Can we check that? Yeah, the flowchart. Okay. So... The casino place is pretty late into the story. Yeah. And we know this because it said 10.30pm or whatever time it was. So I don't think this is a spoiler. But at the same time, it's like, what? <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. Let's try Q-Team then. We don't know too much about the people here. And we'll do this one. <laughs> 